In this video, we will look at an overview of neural networks and in further videos, we will go into more technical details of neural networks. So here we will start adding hidden layers to our neural network. But before that, let's recap that we had seen the case of logistic regression where we had just one unit. We called it as neuron. It can be thought of as a mini neural network and inputs are coming in. It performs some computation and generates the output. And we also use this A interchangeably with this Y hat, which is the calculator or calculated or estimated output. And the corresponding computation graph is this. So we feed in the weights, input and bias, and we calculate Z. And from this Z, we calculate A, that is the predicted output. And based on the predicted output and the actual output, we calculate a loss function. And we also do a backward gradient computation where we calculate del ly del a and then we can compute del l over del z so this denotes uh, how loss changes when we change z this denotes how loss changes when we change a and finally this is used to calculate del w over sorry del loss over del w and del loss divided by del b so how loss changes with change in weights and how loss changes with respect to bias and based on that we will update our weights and bias and keep on repeating that uh, but this uh, does not have any hidden layers so these are the inputs and this is the output there is no hidden layer so we will look at a more generic neural network. So let's see how, how neural network is formed. So this is the typical structure of a small neural network. So this we call as hidden layer. This is the input. This is output. This you can think of as an output. This itself is a layer. And this is the hidden layer which we have introduced and it was not there in the logistic regression case. And here we will denote a layer by this square bracket and one and this will be second hidden layer. So we will call it layer two. And here these inputs and weights will go in and you can see here the new notation W1. So this denotes weights for first layer. First layer is this one. So these are the different weights. And uh, in the second layer, these are the three weights. So weights corresponding to second layer, we will call it as W2 square brackets superscript. And here it's a square bracket superscript one. That means weights that are coming into layer one. And this should not be confused with our earlier notation where we saw like this X1. This is not a square bracket. It's normal superscript in uh, this curved braces, small braces. So this denotes ith training example and this denotes ith layer, parameters corresponding to ith layer. So these input uh, parameters and the parameters corresponding to first layer are used to calculate the z for first layer. And here also you will see this superscript. And this z is again used to calculate a, which is very similar to this. Z and A calculation in logistic regression case. So Z followed by A and finally loss function. Since here we have more layers, it will be Z1 followed by A1. So this is one. Then second layer, which is Z2 followed by A2. And here we feed in our W1 and B1. Here we feed in after layer one calculation is done. This is treated as input. So X this role is played by this new value and then we feed in new w and b corresponding to this second layer and again z calculation followed by a calculation and finally in the end loss calculation and this y we will also call it as a2 and finally when we do backward propagation in order to compute the gradients we will first calculate del l over del a2 then we will calculate del L over del Z2 
and uh, this will be used to calculate this value will be used to calculate del L over del W2 and also del L over del B2 and similarly we will do the remaining things and finally we will update these weights as well as these weights after one epoch. So this is how uh, we can form a neural network by stacking together lots of small sigmoid units. And uh, this was just an overview of uh, neural network. We will look at much more uh, deep neural network where we will have multiple of these hidden layers and multiple weights between these layers and finally one output layer and some input values. And we will look at more technical details.